Greetings everyone and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Today we're going to purchase a new license which is going to give us access to an entirely new line of products. Hopefully a line of products that is going to make us a lot of money. Now the first thing I want to talk about before we do that is there's been some changes around the store. You see last night we did a 3 plus hour live stream and we made some changes, we made some purchases, we do have some new products over there. So we're going to go into detail in terms of what we did and what we now have. Now, if you're interested in that live stream, the link is going to be in the description down below. But like I just said, we're going to go over it. By the way, if you did watch that live stream last night and you're wondering what happened to the extra money I had, well, we had three days of bills that I completely forgot about. So yeah, that's what happened to it. I think we're going to have enough to do what we want to do though, because we did stock up before we uh, ended the stream last night. So we should be good to go. Now, the first physical thing you can actually see is we do have a new aisle. And you know, I think that if we move this up and move them closer together, we could actually get a fourth aisle in. We don't need that right now because we do have empty space over here that we're going to fill today. But I don't think we're going to need any more right now. Future? Possible. We're going to have to see how that goes. It really depends on the products in the future. But I think we're going to have enough for what we want to do. All right, so another thing is, I think I said this at the end of the last video, that I wanted to get another shelf and put the TP over here. I have done that. As a result, you see these three products over here now have a lot of space to themselves. And we have a lot of them. So that's actually good because these guys actually sell. We also have a lot of sushi. As we watched last night, sometimes the large sushi can just completely vanish, which is the reason that I have two rows of them here. And of course, I have the small sushi here and they do sell very well. So yeah, that's actually something that is a good thing. All right, I still have the juice. I have tuna and I have the two cheeses over here. Over here, we still have the seafood. I just bought a whole new load of steak and veal because we were actually out of veal. We have the scallops over here. They're not really very good at the profit, so I probably won't buy any more. Maybe we'll get more veal and steak. All right, so I still have the old pizza over here. Now, here I have the chicken, but over here I have ice cream. Now, I still have some ice cream in the stock room over there, but as you can see, I probably won't buy any more of it. Just saying. Now, we also have um, crab sticks here. I mean, these are pretty good. We can go with them. There's a lot there, and we do have a profit margin on that. Yeah, the cheddar pizza. This actually sells very quickly, and it's a good profit. So, yeah, we're going to keep going with that. That's for sure. All right, we got a lot of the cereals and, of course, the sugar products over here. I am probably going to need to get some dishwasher tablets fairly soon because they sell very well, and that's a good thing because... Like I said, it all comes down to the profit margin, doesn't it? Yeah, I got a lot of shampoo and I'm decent with the uh, bleach for now. Uh, before starting the video, I happened to notice I was low on the cakes. So I did buy one more of those. That's the only purchase that I've made since the video ended last night. That is of a live stream. All right. And I do have some extras on some things over here in case we have um, issues with that. All right. So here's the thing. Like I said, we're going to buy a license. The license is going to be expensive. It's going to be 3500 So I'm still going to have more than 3000 left. We are going to have to buy the products too, and I'm going to put them on the shelves. Now, the license has a theme to it. So let's just go over here and take a look. And by the way, yes, all of my bills are now paid. There was actually three days, so that was kind of expensive. But we're going to go with this one. All right, this one is very heavy into alcohol. So we're going to be putting it in the back where we should be, but hopefully we're going to be getting profit. Of course, there's chips in there too. So we're going to see where we're going to put the chips. All right, 3,500, let's do it. All right, now I'm hoping this all goes into shelves and it isn't a matter I have to put them in a uh, fridge. I do have some fridge space, but I mean, I really rather they go on shelves. All right, so let's just go down and take a look at the products we have. Okay, shelf, shelf. Oh, no, fridge for this one. I don't even know what that is. 
but I do have space for it, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, that goes in a, fr- oh, wow, we're going to need fridges, aren't we? All right, let's buy one at a time. First, let's deal with the shelf situation. So we have a six packs over here. We can do that. This one over here, yep, we can do that. That one goes in a shelf. All right, what are we doing over here? Chips, we'll get the chips. Okay, that goes in a fridge. And the vodka, vodka goes in the shelf. All right, we'll start with them and we'll buy them. All right, so let's see about this. Okay, so this is vodka. I'm going to put the vodka like in here. I probably should buy two. I'm going to have to set the prices. We'll see how they uh, they sell. I'm guessing the profit's going to be good there. All right, I'm thinking, why don't we put the chips, you know, right here. By the way, we really haven't talked about the other products that are sitting right next to you at the moment here. All right, hold on a second. Any more? No, we're done. Okay, so this is this is just the cans, I believe, right? Hold on a second. Okay, those are pretty big. Oh, those are kegs. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And we don't have any more? All right, those are kegs. Okay, so these are six packs, I believe. All right, I'm going to put them over here. Okay, so we have the six packs. All right, there's no more there. All right, I talked about the other products, but I didn't talk about these. These, of course, are condiments, right? So you have the mayonnaise, which is actually really good, and it's the one that I'm going to keep. And it does sell, by the way, at that price, so no problem. Yeah, then we have hot sauce. It did sell out, but $2.13 isn't worth the uh, shelf space to me. So when that sells out, it's gone. Uh, another one is also the ketchup, which is one ninety six. Yeah, once that's gone, it's gone. Going to keep the mayo, that's for sure. All right, let's set a couple of prices while we're here. Let's see. Okay, I like that price. So let's say six twenty five. Okay, three dollars. That's good. Now, how about the vodka? I think we can raise that price just a little bit there. I'm going to just go with $13.50 because if people want vodka, they're going to get vodka. So we'll see how it sells. All right, the kegs. How much do the kegs go for? All right, the market price is $26.38, which means even if I just go with the market price, it's going to be like $4.50. But of course, I'm not going with the market price, am I? Let me think. I'm thinking, why don't we try $27.95? That's what I'm thinking. That would be nice. That's nearly six bucks. All right, what about the six packs? Because we want to see if this is going to sell. All right, $11.83. So what about $13.45? Okay, that would be five bucks. That would be good. So we're going to see how they sell. And if they sell well, we're just going to fill down here. Unfortunately, now I'm going to need fridge space. So let me see here. I have space on the bottoms down here. And I have some space over here and then down there. So I do have space. It's just going to be a little weird. All right. Let's see what it is we're going to be buying. Because we need to see what the profit is going to be. And then we need to see um, whether or not we're going to be able to sell them and make a good profit. All right, so let's see. This was one. Let's buy this. Okay, and this one requires, this is a lager. This requires the uh, the fridge. We'll go with that. This is the keg. This is the, oh, this is one we're going with too. All right, is that all of them? I do believe it is. All right, so we're just going to get one of each and see how well they sell. All right, so I guess we can throw these guys... I mean, we got space down here. We'll put these in here. All right. And of course, we're going to have to set prices on those two, right? All right. And this one over here, we can put that one. We'll put it um, next to it. That way, if we decide to go with two, we can just put them down, if you know what I mean. Who knows? We may end up buying another whole fridge because they sell very well. All right. Now, I'm not even sure what this is. But I do have a spot open here with the tuna. 
All right, let's see. Is that all going to fit in one? No, it isn't. All right, here's the thing. I don't want to split them up then. All right, we're going to put them underneath the sushi. That's what we're going to do. And over here. Okay, is that all of them? Yes, it is. Okay, so we need two shelves for that. All right, we have at least one of each of the new products. All right, so how much do you sell for? 405, which is not good. All right, so let's do 495. What's that going to get me? Okay, that's only 234. Yeah, I don't see buying those again unless the price goes up. All right, let's check out this one. 305. I don't know. Maybe I should stick with the kegs and the uh, the six packs. All right. Well, this one again, we're going to say I'll say 85 this time. 385. Yeah, that's 220 though. Ugh, that's awful. Okay, that's better. 425. That's much better. We'll say 525. Okay, that was still not even three, but it's still better than the other ones. All right, do I have everything labeled and ready to go now? We got prices, we got prices. All right, we're going to see how these things sell, and then we're going to decide if we're going to get more. I mean, the chips, $3, if they go, that's fine. I mean, we could eventually move them over here. Maybe I need another rack because I don't quite have enough of the products that I would actually want here. See, there's a bunch of things, and I really want to fill these up. I may do some more filling during the day. You know, something like this, and this is good. That's a little short, that's a little short, and this one too. They still do sell, and they make me a profit, which is a good thing. We'll see how well these do and decide whether or not we want to fill them up. Anyway, let's get going. Let's take a look at how the day goes. And then we'll make our decisions later. So it's 9 p.m. and we're cleaning out what's left here. Uh, we did pretty good. Currently we have over 4,500. I'm guessing we're going to get close to 47 before we're done. Uh, the one thing I couldn't help but notice is we sold some of these. But here's the thing. We sold out of this twice. Well, there's one left here because I looked over there and instead of the six that were there, there was one. So I went and I got some more, filled it up, put the extra one there, and they're gone again. So these are actually selling pretty well. So what I might do is I might try to fill this entire row to see if we can get a lot more going. Um, that one I'm going to leave for now. We'll have to see how that goes. I did sell some vodka. And of course, the vodka does have a good markup here. And the chips, so we're definitely going to do that. So that's something we're going to be doing for refilling. In terms of everything else, the sushi doesn't need a refill. I am already ordering uh, orange juice over there. Yeah, tuna, probably a good idea. These guys down here, like I said, if they sell, they sell. I'm not replacing them because there's not enough a bang for the buck. Uh, over here, we're pretty good. I'm not going to get the scallops anymore because there's just not enough uh, monetary benefit here. All right, the pizza over here is good for now. I did spend the rest of my um, ice cream here to fill it up, the stuff that I have in there. So, I mean, like I said, once this is gone, this is gone because, yeah, I'd rather have the chickens. At least the chickens make me more money. I refilled these pizzas. They're actually doing very well for me. I think I still have some left over there. Yeah, the crabs don't go very fast. Just saying. Uh, I did do some refilling over here. I did get some new bread and uh, I think that's about it. All right, so 5000 Good day. I mean, we did spend a lot of money on new products and, of course, the uh, new license. But, I mean, I think that's going to work out. I mean, we're good for here. I mean, we're pretty good for there, too. So I shouldn't have to worry about anything in there. Now, with the condiments, like I said, I'm going to let the hot sauce and the ketchup go. I'm just going to go with the mayonnaise. Yeah, but we do need the chips and we do need the vodka. I'm going to get at least one more vodka. I'm thinking two chips will do the job there. All right, I am starting a list already, so let's go down with the list. All right, so chips. Yeah, two more with the chips. And then we'll go with the uh, another one of the vodka. And I'm thinking two rounds of keg. It's going to be expensive, but I think that's a good idea. Uh, in terms of anything else, I don't really see anything else I want to load up right now. 
we're going to have to wait to see how this goes. You know, I mean, it, they could sell at one time. I mean, five dollars isn't bad for a big stack like that. I mean, I think it goes up to sixteen. I suppose we could just grab another one. You know, the way it works in this game is some days some things just sell. All right, so we have eight in there. Anyway, we're done for the day. So hopefully we get some nice price increases. Yeah, I got um, I got hurt by that a couple of times during the stream last night. Right, we took a big loss because of the supplies and the upgrade. The upgrade, of course, being the contract, you know, the new license. So, uh, yeah, we lost money. But you know what? We got 5000 and that's not so bad. Okay, bottled water, don't care. Ice cream went down. Dark roast went up. I missed the last one, unfortunately. Okay, so we're cranking up the price. All right, so it's 11.43. I'm going to say 12.45. And that would be a very nice profit margin right there. How are we doing over here? I mean, that'll be all right. All right, the black tea, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that one, but that should be just fine. All right. I don't remember what the other increase was. There was something else here. So, like I said, I really wish that... Okay, bottled water. I'm not doing bottled water. There's just not enough profit. We did the dark roast coffee. So, we got that one. I know there was a decrease, but I don't think it affected me. At least, I hope it does. Oh, the ice cream. Right. But I'm not doing the ice cream anymore. It's just not worth it. Unless I saw an increase in the price... That would be different. Okay, so the tuna went down. I was about to restock on tuna. But, you know, we're actually going to throw that in there because I do need the tuna. Uh, let's see. I'll just work on the price when I get over there. I think the last one was the ice cream, and it went down. Yeah, that just makes it very clear that I'm not going to do that. Oh, by the way, let's just buy what we have here, and let's do some restocking. All right, so this is, I believe, this one right here. All right, that's all I'm going to buy of that until it proves to me that it can sell. Now, the kegs, the kegs are selling, so we're just going to go with them. All right, unfortunately, it's only six at a time. But they are making me money, so that's what matters. There we go. I think that's going to be it. All right. And of course, we're going to have to see about the price of the tuna now. It used to be very good. I don't know if it's still very good. Is that it? We're empty. We are empty. All right. I'll check the tuna. All right. This one here sold pretty well the first time. So we're just going to see if it's going to continue to sell well. Okay. And this is the chips. Once again, sold pretty well. All right, I think I have one more bag in there. All right, so obviously someone's going into the storeroom. So we're just going to fill this all the way down and then see. Right, the rest is going into the storeroom. There we go. All right, what else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, the orange juice. Yeah, the apple juice is fine for now. It's funny because the orange juice is much more expensive, but it sells very well. So I'm not going to mess with the price on that one. All right, these over here. And then this one right here. Okay, we're out. All right, that's good. If they sell, that's very good. Right, I don't have to do a refresh. That's enough sushi down there. I think one or two of these down here sold. But I mean, yeah, it's not worth restocking, so I won't be restocking that. See, I want things that are going to sell well. Speaking of which, what is the price now? Ouch, that hurt. It just became a not-so-good product. So I guess it's going to be six ninety-five. Yeah, it's under 3 bucks now. I don't like it when that happens. All right, I do have some extra mozzarella in here. Because I grabbed both cheeses because they both needed help. All right, that is empty. I still have some of the other one. 
I think that's going to do. Oh, except I do believe I need um, I need chicken. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get three boxes of chicken. Okay, the TP is good. Everything over here is good. I refilled the um, the bread. All right, I think we're good to go. I'm going to get three chicken because they do go quickly and they're easily stored. All right, so let's go and get some chicken here. There it is right there. One, two, three. And it's not very expensive, too. All right, so besides, once the uh, ice cream is gone, I'm just going to put more chicken in there until we get something else to put in the freezer. All right, these guys are just going to go underneath. Oh, close that up. All right, underneath. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Hey, the bugs got to eat, too, right? All right, I think we're good to go. So we have 4,083 at opening. So let's do another day and see how this goes. If it goes quickly, I will be restocking, especially the kegs. So let's open for business and see what sells. Once again, it's 9 p.m. and the store, of course, is still busy. We're up to 61.75, and I'm sure we're going to go higher than that. Uh, as you can see, the kegs did pretty well. This one kind of slow, but, you know, we are getting a good profit, so I'll probably just keep two shelves of them. But the kegs, I mean, I've seen people walk out with three of them at a time, which is kind of unusual. But, hey, you know what? Maybe they're having a party or something. Uh, in terms of other things... The chicken was going pretty well. As you can see, the ice cream is gone, and I'm not going to replace it. Yeah, nobody bought the cheddar pizza this time. We did sell a couple of the crab sticks. Uh, here's something. The uh, sushi actually did pretty well, so I'm probably going to get two packages of the large to fill the gaps, and then, of course, we'll get some small sushi in there. As a matter of fact, let me put them on the list right now. And yes, I finally did put a light in here. It's dark, but I can kind of see. I don't want to spend too much. Oh, that does remind me. Tomorrow morning, I will have two rounds of the bills. And the bills are kind of harsh. So let's see. I wanted to get a small sushi and a large sushi. That should do. We'll just leave those on the list. And then I'll add other things. For instance, I did have a problem with the honeybees over here. But I did refill it. Yeah, I figured two more of the, um, the kegs. I'll just leave that one the way it is. So let me just grab those kegs while I'm at it. That should be all the way on the bottom. Where are the kegs? Here they are. One, two. Yeah, in terms of the ales, like I said, yeah, they'll sell, but I'm not getting a lot of money for them. Oh, and I did buy, I should say I refilled the orange juice from what we had. So everything else does seem to be okay. I don't have to get this pizza for a while. I still have 18 of them. Unless I wanted the space to move stuff over. Um, the crab sticks, they're going kind of slow, so 10 should probably do the day. Oh, are we done? Okay, 66.42. I'm hoping for a lot more profit, even though I did uh, buy some things. So let's just see how this day went. Day 70. And as I pointed out, you know, last night during the stream, yes, I only have eight satisfied customers. But I noticed the number of customers really doesn't change very much. And, of course, we do have 1,612 in terms of profit. And that's a good thing. Okay, bio eggs went up. I don't care. Hot sauce went down. Ketchup went down. I mean, if I need any other reason to not sell them, that'll do. Oh, I need mayo. All right. So when these guys are gone, I'm not going to replace them. Especially now because I'm going to have to lower the price. I mean, actually, that's not too much of a lower right there. We'll just leave that one alone. Where is the... That's just terrible. All right, you know what? When I get the box, I'm just going to move them to the bottom or something like that out of the way. But I do need mayo. Mayo actually does sell well, and there's a good profit margin. It was good that they didn't hurt the price there. I'm going to buy two. We'll buy two. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's just take a quick look around. I'm already getting the uh, the sushi. I mean, we're good with the uh, the tuna for now. I probably should get some um, 
mozzarella. That's probably not a bad idea. We're good over here. I don't see a problem over here. And like I said, I mean, I do need more chicken. I'll get two more chickens. That's what I'll do. Everything else I kind of restock during the day. So let's just throw two chickens in there. Chicken should be up here. One, two. All right. It was one more item. Can I squeeze one more item in? I did get some more pasta during the day. Any problems over here? I mean, not really. We're pretty good. Oh, chicken. That's what I wanted. The thing is, I can't get two of them. Or actually, I did get chicken, didn't I? Yeah, and I got two of them. All right, you know, we'll just grab that and then see how it works out. Okay, and boom. All right, so obviously the chicken is on the top. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to fill this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the... Oh, this is the kegs. I mean, they are selling, so that's a good thing. Oh, and this is the large uh, sushi. Anything there? Oh, no, this is not the large sushi. This is the small sushi. I don't want to mix them up. Okay, is there any more in there? Okay, we'll just do that. And it's empty, which means that the, okay, that was the mozzarella. I only keep two cheeses because they're the only ones with a good profit margin. All right, you sit there right next to the, uh, the pizza, which did not need a refilling. Okay, I do believe that that is the large. Yes, it is. Can I fill any over here? And I do believe that's it. Yeah, some, some days the game just decides that something is going to sell really well. The large sushi is a good thing to sell really, really well. All right, and now we're going to have to do some work here, I think. All right, hold on a minute. What I want to do is I want to move things. So we'll put this over here, and then I'll take all of this. I'm going to put the mayo going down this way, and I'm going to put the other things out of the way for now until they sell. I might have another one. Did I get another one? Yes, I did. All right, because that's the only one I'm going to keep. Let's face it. It's the only one you need anyway. All right, there we go. So when these guys sell off, I'll have a free one right here. Um, the chips didn't sell out, but I did refill them. I needed to fill about five. So, I mean, they are going pretty well. And I think it's $3 profit. Oh, I can't do that with a box in my hand. All right, let me just see. Oh, and chicken. This chicken is just going to go right in here. I probably should get more because it does sell out pretty well. I know there's an open there, but I don't want to mess with that. Everything else seems to be okay for now. All right, so we have 5716 so I think we can probably run through one more day and see how it works in terms of these products that we have. Uh, the next license, let's just check out the next license. Let's go over. Oh, and I have to pay my bills. All right, so you get to see what my current bills look like. 77, 76, it really depends on what time I turn the lights on. And then, of course, we got 110 and 110. So, yeah, it does, it does add up. All right, so the next license is just kind of a mixed bag of things. We have chips, we have flour, we have mashed potatoes, very much going to have to probably put those in a freezer or a fridge or something like that. Then we have pepper, we have more rice, sandwich bread, and some more sugar powdered, whatever that is. And of course, that's going to be another 3,500. Of course, the one after that is going to be 5,600. So we really need to get into a... Um, a money-making mood, don't we? Yes, we need to make a lot of money. All right, I see some filling I need to do over there during the day. The pasta, the elbows, and the milk. Definitely the milk. Maybe some more honey, too. It does sell. Anyway, let's just see how the end of the day goes. We're starting at uh, 53.41. So once again, we have 9 p.m. This, of course, is the big money time. 
Um, I've already grabbed a couple of things and put them on my list that I know I'm running out of, like bread, for instance, and bleach down there. Um, yeah, the kegs didn't go as well today. We did have some more of these go, but nothing to go crazy about. I am getting more crab sticks. I already reloaded this one, so that did see, there was some selling. We actually have some chicken left over, too. Now, we did do some sales in sushi, which is good, but not enough for a restock. I already have apple juice on the list as well as tuna. And uh, yeah, it seems that these sold out, these didn't. But like I said, there's not really a reason for me to keep them. So that once they're gone, they're gone. Thankfully, we did get rid of the, um, the ketchup. We have one hot sauce left. We did get some sales over here, which is good. And uh, I actually did put an extra four in here from the box I had left over. So the, uh, yeah, the chips are selling pretty good. Unfortunately, it looks like only one of the vodkas have sold since the beginning. So we'll see how that works out in the future. Everything else, I think we're good to go. And at the moment, we have 7426. I'm hoping that you have some big items. Oh, and you have a keg. Yeah, I, I did refill the honey a bit there, too, because I noticed it was going down. Shampoo. We should be good with shampoo. Yeah, I just keep selling these guys. So I keep buying them because that's the way it works in capitalism. Hey, somebody actually bought the pizza. See, I told you somebody bought the pizza. Okay, I think we're going to get to 7,700. Not quite. Not, unless you want to buy something. Do you want to buy something? There'll be a 2% discount. No? Okay, I think we're done for the night. So let's just see what the profit look like. Day 71. Hey, look, I had 10 satisfied customers and 52 came in. I guess maybe once you start selling alcohol, it's a thing. Anyway, we had a 1419 uh, profit, which is very good indeed. Okay, bottled water went up. Ooh, maybe I should get bottled water. No, I won't be getting bottled water. All right, and of course, let's just take care of the bills very quickly here. So that we can see exactly how much money we have. Oh, we don't want to do bills. 77 and, of course, uh, 110. Um, I'm guessing that that's actually costing me more, too. So, All right, so I'm going to do some refilling, of course, because I am lacking in a couple of things. I just noticed that elbows is a bit of an issue here. And I probably need some of the milk over here. Yeah, I am getting light on some things, so I'm going to have to do a general refill, like get some rice over here, some peanut butter. Pretty good with the um, olive oil, but I'll get another oil as well. Yeah, these guys in the bottom that we had sold out, but I'm not going to get any more because no profit margin. See, these guys, good profit margin, good profit margin, and even these guys, like nearly three bucks, and this one over here, Almost three and a quarter. So yeah, that's worth it. That is definitely worth it. Yeah, unfortunately, that drop in the price on the tuna really hurt. Maybe I should just turn it up. I don't know. Maybe it'll still sell. Yeah, I really want more veal to sell. But the steak is definitely going. This is good. Um, the chicken. Chicken was going good. Yeah, I have already ordering more crab sticks. Anyway, we're up to 7,500. We are going to need a lot more money for more expansions and more licensing in the future and i do want to fill the shelves that's something i want to do i mean over here is kind of what i want things to look like if you see what i mean you know just rows and rows of it as long as it's a selling product i think the kegs qualify these guys are just going really slowly so i think two shelves is the most i would do with that unless of course there's some kind of a drastic price change if you know what i mean how much did these get me individually anyway? $5. And I think it's $16 to a shelf. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, there's only um, 6 to a shelf here. And it gets me about 6 bucks. But uh, they do sell better. Just not yesterday. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. So we opened up another license. And now we sell spirits. We also sell chips. And hard spirits. I'm guessing that we're going to have all kinds of great products coming in the future. And like I said, you know, if we do and I need more shelf space, 
I think I could easily squeeze in another aisle. And I could also fit in another freezer if it was necessary. I don't know. Maybe we can do something with the fridges, putting them up here if we needed them for that. Yeah, I got a tea problem. And coffee. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a full look at the entire store to make sure things are well filled. Because I don't want to run out of things, especially once 9 p.m. comes. So that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.